Watch him! Ah! It's horrific! What horrible evil could cause such chaos? <laughs> George and Abe just days before their annual bath. Do I smell the rotten stink of Abe? Ooh, is that the aroma of my unwashed pal, George? <laughs> Mom, can I go outside? I said no. Now go play in some manure until it's safe up there. Ugh. Something terrible has turned rotten. Don't worry. Whatever it is, we throw it out, bury the fridge, burn the kitchen, and boof. Oh, Magnolia, what is that smell? Oh, just George and I. Didn't you know they only take a bath once a year? Ew. Yeah, things get pretty bad in the last week. Even their rubber bath ducky goes into hiding. Yes, sir. I'm a regular duck. Quack, 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 quack. They take an annual bath? Ew, that is so childish, so foolish, so boyish. Yuki, <laughs> yuki. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Ah! Hi, everyone! George, you and Ape need to take a bath. Ha! <laughs> Typical human attitude. Being dirty keeps the bugs from biting. They can't stand the taste. Ursula should try it. You're not going to take a bath? Nope. <laughs> well, fine. We'll just glue these flowers to our face and smell fast. Oh, I could make a flower perfume you can spray on yourself till bath day. I was thinking they could gargle with it. No way! George doesn't want to smell like a girl. <sighs> yeah, e pluribus smell them. United we stink. Girls are so dramatic. Ape said it. Uh, we flew south from this. I thought bath day would never get here. What are you wearing? I tore all the perfume sample strips out of my magazine, and I made this super cute skirt. Huh? What are you wearing? Something my dad invented. If the smell gets too bad, you just pull this. So refreshing! Ape in the air! <laughs> Woo Yay! Woo Come on in, George! Whoa! Ho ho! That's what I smelled like! I thought you were gonna go for the record. <laughs> There's a record for not taking a bath? Sure. Reginald Stinker McGaw once went two years. Smelled all his feathers off. Hmm. The king of the jungle should hold all the records. One more year! One more year! You One better not year. be thinking what One I think you're thinking. Year. One more year! One more year! One more year! One more year! I took those flowers and made a huge jug of perfume. It's really strong, so only use a few drops. Don't you think you might be overreacting a little? Uh, hello, friends! <laughs> Give me that. Look, George, even Ape can't stand your stench. But George's stench is getting stronger. Watch. Open smell me You have to listen to us, George. The grass has stopped growing under your tree house. It refuses to leave the dirt. You don't get visitors or mail. Or breathable air. Oh. Okay, guys, I'm going in. Be brave. <sighs> Just a couple of drops on you should do it. <laughs> Ha-ha! <laughs> Girly smell no match for all-powerful George smell. <sighs> you wanna play fetch? <laughs> hey, girls! Get away! Don't come any closer! <laughs> oh. 
is his friends. Oh, maybe record isn't worth it. George will take bath first thing in the morning. Still hold the record. <laughs> George, I thought you were taking a bath. Help! I'm being smelled now. <gasps> George needs help. I'm afraid his collective odors have finally <sighs> taken over. Wait! <laughs> the smell, it's alive. <laughs> Smells aren't alive. There's simply molecules impinging on the human olfactory apparatus that... Help! It's alive! Help! Uh, arrest that aroma! George! <laughs> oh, Mr. Smith. Uh -oh. We only want to talk! I'm right here! Over there! <laughs> Which way did he go? <laughs> that smell is too smart. This calls for some serious science. This device creates a solid containment sphere. I may be able to neutralize this smell if you can just trick it onto this platform. How? Do not worry. I have that covered. Worst smell in the world! If you seek the reef, come take a peek! Say fantastic! Free rotting cheese inside! Come and get it! Wait! <laughs> now! <laughs> we got him! What? What happened? Wait! Where's the smell? Possible. It evolved. It can live on its own. <laughs> How's your scientific method working out? Oh, can it? Hey! What about me? No! Oh. <laughs> See? If he can do it, you can do it. You lazy slob. Smell is heading for the river, and he doesn't know the shortcut. Follow George. If he touches that water, he'll be aromagated. And that's bad, right? Very. Imagine all the water in the jungle tasting like a dirty George. <gasps> We're, We're doomed. <laughs> Not necessarily. Perfume. I've increased the sweetness and purity by a power of Boogity 11. There is no such number as Boogity 11, you board shaking troglodyte! Perfume! <laughs> Attack! has an idea. George! <laughs> smells, smells, don't fight. You have so much in common. <laughs> like, uh, well, you both stink. <laughs> Girly smell. Look how strong bad smell is. <laughs> and bad smell. She's kind of cute, right? In a disgusting, nose hair burning way. <laughs> what have I doing? I, I think I smell love in the air. <laughs> the smells are going away. George solved whole problem. 
But you created the problem. Ah, but I solved the problem. Huh? What's George's big reward? Huh? 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 Oh, 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 Raised by animals and trained to track his prey silently, George of the Jungle loves the thrill of the hunt. Huh? <laughs> George, what did you save me from this time? Found another coconut that looks like George. I collect them. George, there's no room in here for any more junk. What are you talking about? Just my pine cone collection, my sleeping squirrel collection, my things that fell in George's head collection. But there's no room left in the treehouse for us to live in. Hmm. Okay, give George one out. There, no more clutter. Okay, give George one week. What do you think? Wow, a new treehouse. Ape and George get own rooms. It's really nice, George. Are you sure the tree won't break? <gasps> it can't break. It's a rubber tree. <sighs> Just look at that view. <gasps> and this is the den. <gasps> Lost Temple of Gold. How do you lose something this big? I could learn so much about an ancient culture. I can dress like an ancient queen. And I can have my own room. Dip. Hey, Max. What's the big idea? Sorry, I didn't see you there. Call me Big Mitch. Everyone does. Who calls you Big Mitch? They do, everybody. I'm very popular. This is your temple? Oh, lucky. Ah, you like my temple, do you? You bet. It's so big and roomy and wide open. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a great place for parties. And it's got these handy utensil dispensers. What George wouldn't give to live in a place like this. Hmm. What exactly would you give? Oops. Ah! Oh, I am gonna look good in this. Place is booby trapped. We've got to get out of here. Okay, we'll trade. George will give you four mangoes, uh, this string, ooh, and my treehouse for your temple. You'll give me a treehouse? Mm, I don't know. This temple has been in my family for generations. Okay, okay, two pieces of string. Okay, deal. But remember, no take backs. No take backs. So long, sucker. <laughs> so long. We've got to leave now. This temple is full of booby traps. And jewelry. And dangerous booby traps. And now we get to live here. George traded our old tree house for this awesome temple. Surprise. <gasps> Ooh, awkward. Okay, we're gonna let you two sort this out from the safety of our own homes. Ape, you mad? Would you excuse me for a minute? I'm gonna go pick out our room. Sure thingy, just as long as you're not mad. <laughs> I called dibs on that room.
demonstrated our house? Yeah, George can tell. Pass the salt, please. Okay, George wants Treehouse back. No can do, guy. Remember? No take backs! <laughs> <laughs> okay, boys. <laughs> no take backs. Do you know what this means? Uh. It means we can never go home again. What have you done, George? Me? Uh, well, this is all Abe's fault. How is it my fault? Somehow! Oh, it's a good thing this is a big temple, because I don't want to talk to you right now. We'll talk later then! Eight? George. I'm sorry. You should be. Sorry, George, listen to you in the first place. This is all your fault. My fault? It is all your fault. It is not my fault. I don't really possibly know what you're Hey, hey, hey! What is wrong with you? You used to be best friends. It doesn't matter where you live as long as you're together. Buddy? Pal. Good. Now get your treehouse back so I can get some sleep. But you just said... No! Big Mitch said no trade backs. Maybe he'll trade for something else. Quick, what have we got besides that stupid temple of gold? I got this paper clip. And I've got some lint. Let's go. Big Mitch will never trade the treehouse for this. Then we'll just have to trade this for something he will want. And I'll give you all of this in exchange for Egypt. Hmm. Yeah. <gasps> There's no way Mitch won't give us our house back in exchange for all of Egypt. Right, George? George? George, wait! George, you just trade the nation of Egypt for a glass of lemonade? Uh, sort of. You're not giving up yet, are you? I was hoping to, yes. We did it once. We can do it again. I've got some more lint. What have you got in your pockets? I have this other shrunken head. Shrunken head for trade! Shrunken head! Uh, who needs one? Shrunken head for trade! Ah! Ah! Uh, Mr. Snuffles? Mr. Snuffles! Mr. Mr. Snuffles? Snuffles? My beloved childhood friend. Thrown out by my own mother. Hey! What's the big idea? Mr. Snuffles was your beloved childhood friend. Now, he's George's beloved childhood friend. <laughs> I'll give you anything from Mr. Snuffles. Anything! Anything? Got any lemonade? George! Mr. Snuffles, I never thought I'd see you again. I'm so glad you're safe. You got back your home and all of George's collections. Now that's a good trade. Nope. George traded his collections to Big Mitch for this. Jungle, 
no sight is sweeter than a new mama bird and her new baby bird egg. <laughs> Especially if you're a hungry snake. clock is the best gift Ape ever gave George. I didn't give that to you. That monkey just doesn't like you. Yeah. Hmm? Hey, an egg. Ooh, an egg. Well, let's see. We could have some omelets or a frittata. No, George must have laid this egg last night. Did you just say you laid an egg? Yup, a man egg. Hmm. How can I explain this? Ah, I know. You can't lay an egg. I can talk like an animal. I can smell like an animal. <laughs> Why can't you believe I can lay an egg like an animal? How about the fact that you're a guy, huh? How about that? George is going to take care of man egg. And when a little George comes out of it, we'll see which one of us looks like that overgrown monkey. Fine. But an egg is delicate. You're worse than a water buffalo in a china shop. Mm, what beautiful craftsmanship. <laughs> Man egg, come. Oh, <laughs> he's just tired. Oh. Ah. That's better. Hmm. Ooh. Can I see the baby? Hi there, cutie. I'm Magnolia, your pretty aunt. And that is Ursula. She's your other aunt. Uh, George, I think that diaper is kind of unnecessary. Oh, time for potty training already? No, I mean, I don't think an egg needs that much attention. Sure, just sit on it till it hatches. Ooh, I just can't wait to see a whole man come out of that egg. Got egg! <laughs> what? <gasps> George just thinking about all the fun he'll have with little George. <laughs> what if it's a girl? Huh? A, a girl? Uh, <laughs> <gasps> a bleak for help. George has to go. But what about your egg? Uh, George will take it with him. You can't take a delicate little egg with you. It's too dangerous. Uh, it's got to learn about rescue sometime. Also, long division. Very important. Help! Help! Okay, one moment. Hmm. Nope. Uh, hmm. Oh, nice and comfy. <laughs> there you go. Hey! Get away from that man egg! Remember, 
Never to talk to Swap! was a gunner when that hyena found it. And it was just luck when George found it in that egg fruit grove. You lost it? George still can't believe it wasn't eaten by the vulture who took it. Oh, or smashed with clubs by the chimps. That's terrible. George, as king of the jungle, you have too many dangerous duties to take care of this egg. Oh. Okay. For safety of little George. <laughs> Magnolia, you're hogging the egg. Am not. Are so. Hey, I have a fun idea. Let's use this time to get to know each other a little better instead of arguing. Sometimes in the morning, George's breath smells like baloney. Okay. Go back to arguing. Am not. Are so. Am not. You are, 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 are. <laughs> George is so lonely without man egg. Am not. Are so. Am not. Are so. You know, Ape, you could stand to trim your toenails now and then. What are you talking about? They're scratching me. My toes are nowhere near you. Are so. Are not. Are so. Wait. Those aren't Ape's toenails. <gasps> it's hatching. It's not a man. It's a bird? Weird. Whoa! Get that semi-hatched egg! I hope it doesn't fall and break its shell. And I hope that hyena had lunch already! Where's the egg? Man egg, you're back! And you have feet! Wow. I guess he took better care of it than we thought. Well, sure. What'd you expect? I break it? <laughs> hey, you! <laughs> cookie, cookie? Hello, little George. Cookie, cookie! Oh, okay. Hello, Tookie, Tookie. Oh, you're welcome. Cookie, cookie? 
Well, sure. Tookie Tookie can visit George whenever he wants. And that's the story of how George met Tookie. Aww, Tookie Tookie. <laughs> Ah, the jungle at night. <laughs> Soothing. And jazzy. Bungles! <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh! <laughs> I sincerely hope this is a bad dream. Uh, <laughs> it, George just want Ape to get good rest. <laughs> <laughs> Bongos! <laughs> but everyone in the jungle knows what Bongos do to me. Uh, Abe, stay here while George investigates. I tried telling him, George! Always open to another music lover. Yeah, but why isn't Big Mitch at the temple? Huh, sad story. Just when things were finally going good at the temple. Hey, quit hogging the cheese. I found my old set of bongos. Any requests? Good music, huh? Uh, tossed out of my own ancient golden temple with nothing but my beloved bongos. <laughs> but for now, let's party! Uh, give it to me. I thought you were gonna take care of it. Oh, Big Mitch just got tossed out of his home. Don't worry, George has other plans. <laughs> Aha! I do not approve of this plan. But George, you can't solve all your problems by putting your friends in a block of cement. Why not? Ape can still talk, and George can feed him, and hold his book up so he can read, and... I have to go to the bathroom. Oh. What you want to do is distract Big Mitch with another instrument. George doesn't have any instruments. <clears throat> My voice is considered an instrument. By who? Me. to take care of Mitch. Oh, Mitch taught me how to sing like a rock star. Isn't that so awesome? Gonna do it again. This means war. Bongo moisturizer? Keeps your bongo skin soft. How thoughtful! Glue! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you can't stop a born entertainer from entertaining! This calls for the bicycle. What is that? What is that? What is that sound? It's called silence, George. And you better get used to it because that's the way it's gonna be from now on. <laughs> Here we go again! A one, and a two, and a three! Ape tipped over Big Mitch's tree? George, something had to be done. There were a lot of animals in that tree. Ah, it's better for them to find a new home where they don't have to listen to those awful bongos. Good, because George invited all the animals to come stay with us. Huh? Hello! What do you have to do to get some breakfast around here? Go! You're in my house, and I make the rules, and the first rule is no bongo playing. These animals need a new tree. Any vacancies? Sure. Great. Are they available right away? I just need to do a background check, get references clean, and rebark. Oh, and no marmosets. Named Mitch. <gasps> Whoa! Big tree! How come George not smack into it before? It looks empty, George. Do you know what this means? Uh, George gets his own bed back? <laughs> Sorry, Big Mitch no can't do this. That's too bad. Because if you do move into this tree, you can have your bongos back. Oh, yeah, give me my bongos. Yeah, uh, uh, tree first, then bongos. Slick. Very slick. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> <Whoa -hoo>! Yeah! <laughs> <sighs> Peace and quiet at last. Hey! <laughs> we can't stand the bongos anymore! All this evicting gets me in a partying mood! Can I get a what, what? Holla! Get him! <laughs> okay, fellas, we can work this out. I mean, you wouldn't hurt a musician, would you? No. <laughs> <laughs> now see what you did? If you just... We told you we don't want you and your annoying bongos in this temple anymore. I am offended, sir. My drum thingy playing is one of the highest caliber. Hey, cut that out! Huh? How do you do that? Every time I hear bongos and he loves to dance. Great exercise for mummies, too. My bandages are getting a little tight. That looks like fun! Let me try! 
I love it! Keep playing! Here we go! Holla! <laughs> <laughs> this is fun! George should get instrument! No bongos! That's George! 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 In the jungle, it is beast versus beast in a gruesome struggle for territory. Excuse me, I was sunbathing here. Um, and have you seen my plump, slow-moving cousin? <laughs> but nearby, there is another kind of struggle. Man versus apes recycled potluck mystery meal. Uh, George thinks he solved the mystery. George, don't play with your food. Or, uh, did you wipe your feet 2,000 times before you came inside? No. Well, go, go! Hey, that's gonna take him an hour. He'll miss this delicious dinner. Oh, it's the only way I can have a little time away from George. 531, 532. I need a little personal space. So, I was gonna ask you guys. Oh my gosh, I think he needs to talk about his feelings. Yay! Okay, Mr. Keep It All Locked Up Inside Guy, let it out. Tell us your feelings. Uh, I was just gonna ask you to help me tie him up and leave him in a cave. Only for a month or so. I think you're being a little dramatic. Oh, no, I'm not. He shows up everywhere I am. Everywhere. When I'm reading... What are George and Abe reading? When I'm slurping. George brought his own straw. <laughs> when I'm bathing. <laughs> Two thousand. Whew. My feet hurt. Hello, sneaky stranger. Well, how did you see me? George notices everything in the jungle. <laughs> I'm Jungle Joel. Perhaps you've heard of my restaurant chain, <laughs> Planet Junglewood. Yeah, I just opened one in the jungle. We're famous for our collection of jungle collectibles, knickknacks, doodads, and authentic forest memorabilia. Does Blood look clean to you? <laughs> Say, I could use a strong, unsuspecting fellow like you to carry things for me. But George spends every second of the day with his best friend, Ape. Well, if you change your mind, call me. Joel? <laughs> you have to tell George right out. Even best friends need time alone. He's a big guy. He can take it. <laughs> I guess girl time didn't work. And all those times when George asked what Ape was doing and you said... You were asleep. I'm sorry, George. Sometimes I just need some space. Maybe you should spend some time with other people, too. Okay? Okay. Meanwhile, Joel got busy doing what he does best. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I leave for one second and the house is gone. <laughs> what is it? Did something valuable go inexplicably missing? Ape says George needs other friends. Will Jungle Joel be George's other friend? Why, of course. And I'm sure you want to get back at him by betraying him in some horrible way. No. Ape's still George's best friend. Oh. Just a best friend who doesn't want George putting on his deodorant for him. Tell me, new friend, has this ape ever spoken of an ancient wooden box deep in the jungle with a stone banana on its door that none should ever touch? And where it is? Yup. Since we're friends, maybe you could take me there. Okay, follow George. Magnolia, we have a reservation at Planet Junglewood. What's the scene there? Is it dressy, non-dressy, or non-dressy-dressy? Dressy? Well, you've got on, it's fine. 
This is a bath towel. <gasps> but with the right purse. Oh, here it is. The cursed box no one should ever even touch. Finally, people will come from all four corners of the world for a chance to not touch this box. <laughs> I bet you a peanut you're not strong enough to lift it. Ha! George can lift anything. <laughs> bet you another peanut you're not strong enough to carry it all the way to my restaurant. <laughs> Boy, some people should not bet. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Something terrible's happened. <gasps> they ran out of loaded potato skins? King Shakefista's most cursed relic is missing. King who's what? Long ago, King Shakefista ruled the apes. Have you brought me treasures out of respect for my power? Uh, no, actually, I just wanted to use the bathroom. He had the only bathroom in the jungle and became furious as more of his subjects visited him just to use the facilities. Come you to exalt me with praise? Yeah, sure, your hair looks great. Which way to the bathroom? So he cursed the bathroom. If it was ever touched by a hand other than his, all apes would be flushed from the jungle forever. Someone has stolen it, and the apes are being flushed away. Well, go get George! Oh, sure. Get away from me. Find new friends. And, oh, by the way, I need this huge favor. What's worse, saying you're sorry or getting flushed by a cursed potty? Hmm. What was my first choice again? <laughs> Uh, why the wait? I don't want to get flushed. Oh, of course. <laughs> so the question. Listen, I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings earlier, but someone stole King Shakefista's sacred bathroom, and his ancient curse is flushing all the apes from the jungle. What does this bathroom look like? Uh, a rectangular box, about the size of that thing on your shoulder. We don't even know where to look. It's mine! Mine! <laughs> wait! <gasps> look out! Gentlemen, the most special relic we've ever featured, the ancient bathroom of the Eighth King! <laughs> Please, if that was really the cursed bathroom, those apes over there would be... <laughs> <gasps> he must be in there, along with everything else he's stolen. Stolen? He probably stole all those jungle knickknacks, just like he stole the king's bathroom. In that case... <laughs> what was that? It means, hey, everybody, come get all your stuff! <laughs> hey! <laughs> I don't have anything until 8 o'clock. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't think our brown explosion's coming. My precious jungle chutzkies, my knickknacks, my goo guys, my bathroom. No! Oh, my bathroom is okay. <laughs> I'm not ruined. Uh, George, I bet you a peanut you can't help me run away with this so I can come back and do the same thing all over again. Joel won't get away with this. Why? Because you and your former best friend, Ape, say so? Ooh, ooh, ah! I'm Ape, and I just want to be alone, away from George, because he's so annoying. Ooh, 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 ah! Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm a ooh ooh ah! ah wait, I, I, I'm not an ape. I, I was just kidding. And with that, King Shake 
Mephisto's curse was lifted. <laughs> about Joel. Those potato skins look good. Don't worry. We got plenty of recycled potluck mystery meal. And there's no one I'd rather share it with. <laughs> ah, the peaceful jungle where predator and prey live side by side. Where graceful birds glide through the air. And sweet honey flows like rain. <sighs> I don't ever want to forget moments like these. I've got to start my photo album. Photo album? <laughs> Sounds unnatural. It's important. How else are future generations going to see how we looked right now if we don't document it with pictures? Uh, like I said. <laughs> Smile! <laughs> Stop! I don't want anyone looking at me when I don't know it. What if they make fun of my fur, my teeth, or my... Toes? Uh, now generations will laugh at my toes. This probably wasn't the smartest place to hide. Yeah! Ooh, oh well, good, a wacky picture. George, get in there with Ape. Yes, yes. One moment. You... <laughs> George, whatever you've done to your hair is great. Ooh, George, you do look handsome. Uh, handsome? <gasps> hey, Bear, give me back my camera. <laughs> my memories. I didn't even get a picture of all of us together. <laughs> We'll do jungle pictures instead! It's a little different, but it'll work. Okay, listen up, people. We are gonna meet later at my treehouse for a group jungle picture. And if you don't show up, I will hunt you down and tie you to a tree. It'll be fun. Uh, George will try to stay handsome. So, how do you take a jungle picture? A drawing, a carving? Okay, first you have to keep your mouth closed. <laughs> this is what a mud impression looks like when it's done. We'll just pull it off when... Oh! A pimple! A pimple! Daddy! You think George is handsome? Well, compared to everyone else around here. Hmm. I like the hair, but... You do need to work on your posture, diction, and your knees. My... my knees? Yeah, they point in too much. Still, I suppose he's handsome enough to hang out with us. with that new hair. <laughs> How about I bring you some of my homemade mud pies later? Uh, thanks. She makes the best mud pies. When do I get one? George, everybody treats handsome people better. Watch. Ahem. <laughs> I 
think I'll have a... Can I help you, gentlemen? Ooh, pretty feathers. Big whoop. Wow! George didn't realize being handsome was so important. <laughs> Here's another one on the house, Mr. King of the Jungle, sir. He's the King of the Jungle? Why didn't we know that? Ooh, brainstorm. Tell me, George, do you like being handsome? It feels great! I wish everyone were handsome. Yes, exactly! Call the others. Meet at the Cave of Mirrors. <laughs> your attention, please. Hey, I'm over here. Can you take your face out of the mirror for one second? Oh. Our time has come. Soon, we will rid the jungle of the uglies once and for all. With the Jungle King in our tiny uh, but beautiful claws, the jungle will once again be beautiful. Beautiful! Beautiful! Uh, Daddy! Uh, off to find elusive helium berry. Be back later? We have two doctors, and they're both gone, and there are people in this jungle getting pimples. Magnolia? Is my pimple gone? <laughs> George is almost finished. Are you sure this looks like a door to a beauty salon? It, uh, it goes around the whole jungle. Well, uh, this way we won't see the animals getting their improvements. Mm, right. So it would be so much a big surprise when they come back. Boy, being handsome must make you smart, too. Yes! <laughs> yeah! Ah! Sorry, I came in to get this bee sting off my face for the <sighs> picture. Just stay away from the medicine cabinet. <laughs> Your handsome haircuts and bands right on the other side. Wow, being handsome is, is hard work. How did you get to be king looking like that? <laughs> Put this on. The salon sent it as an early beauty treatment. Oh, uh, we don't see a beauty salon out here. Oh, yeah, it's behind a couple of trees. <laughs> Maybe you should go on the ugly side and show them. Right! Uh, uh, wait, ugly side? Now! <laughs> hmm. Uh, fellas? George? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> What's this huge wall doing here? Well, George thought he was building a big door to a beauty salon so all the animals could go get handsome like us. Oh, uh, George and the peacocks, us. Not, uh, not us, us. Excuse me? See, if the animals are handsome like George, the jungle would be friendlier. I'm not feeling so friendly right now. Did you ever think that maybe those peacocks were tricking you because they wanted the jungle all to themselves? No, but maybe I should have when they put the bag on my head. Well, what do we do now? George is going to get back jungle for all us ugly people. Ugly people? Oh, yeah. Tookie Tookie, lift George over that wall. He's gonna blow!
have a four. George didn't want to mess up his hair. Uh. Hmm. George has an idea. Hey there, handsome. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> My hair! <laughs> Look who's handsome now. Ah, my plume! <laughs> <laughs> What's happening to us? <laughs> my perfect perfection! You! What about me? I was the good looking one. You wish. <laughs> 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 Okay, everybody ready? We're finally gonna do this. Hit it, Shep. Ow. 